drag your chair a little closer. We're going to be making valves for this happens to be the bailing war engine. The one and a half horsepower McCormick Deering, made by International Harvester up around Chicago. 1925, I believe, was the year it was made. And 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 just so just the, the valves are wore out. The oh it's a good face, real good. The face survived. The seat in there is really good. The problem is the stem or the valve guide is worn. And this is excessive. Uh, that, that will not be tolerated in a gasoline engine at none. This engine, I could put it together and it would start and it would probably run okay. But the more you run it, the more it wires to the point of a, a major repair. So the, best, the, the ideal thing to do to make a one-turn starting engine is to set these things right as you go. So today's project is uh, uh, this right here. To have a couple of valves like this right here, that's a real good blueprint to go by to build two more valves. The okay, let's get on with it. I am going to. I will. I'll cut the. I'll cut the valve seats. Uh, I'll install valve guides and cut the seats in that head, but first we're going to build some valves. And I'm going to make the head out of this cast iron material. The And what I did there, in order to have a blueprint to work by, is I took one of these valves and soldered half it too, where it came off of the stem. The If you observe... This is the old stem that's left in that. It's two different materials, and you can see the shininess of that stem. And it's it's got a taper right there. This is smaller than the bow stem size. So there there was a little shoulder effect right here. This one, with the other half of that one with the bow stem removed, you, you can see the taper part right there and this part and then you can see right here where that shoulder was at when that when that stem when the bow stem was made and what I'll do is I'll turn these down I'll drill a hole in there turn this shoulder down right here to a uh, I'm, not, I'm I'm probably I have built some other valves. This one, that one happens to be, uh, the head was brazed on that one. Uh, in that case, you would have a loose fitting valve head. This one, that one is brazed. Uh, this one, this one, it was not anything. It was just assembled and pinged over on the top. The one, I do have one. This one was uh, this one was silver soldered. I do like that silver solder, and if you're going to silver solder a head onto a stem, you do leave a little bit of clearance there for the silver solder to use a capillary action and have room to to actually adhere to both surfaces. If you if it's press fit, then silver solder will only be this little fillet right here. With that said, we are going to make some valve heads first. And what I've got is this piece of cast iron. The procedure that I have found that works really, really good is let's say this right here is the material. Okay, first off, I'm going to, looking at it sideways, I'm going to machine this part right here away. I'm going to put the piece of material in the lathe, and I'll machine this away. Uh, leave this little protrusion sticking out here. That will be one quarter inch long. It's the, the, the numbers are not... Uh, do you... you <laughs> I you I'm a, I, you see it that I'm beating around the bush because I probably do this whole thing and won't have a micrometer involved in it if I was not doing it uh, publicly. You know, I just get her done. But with that said, the I'll turn that away, and this protrusion right here, I'll probably leave that. Uh, let's say a half inch. 
one and a half. Make it easy. That's just five hundred thousand. You know, uh, uh, two hundred fifty thousands down here. If you keep an account with the ruler, the um, and I probably uh, I like to use a bandsaw instead of cutting off in the lathe. So I would like for this thing right here to be about three quarters of an inch long. You know, cut her cut her off right here, three quarters of an inch. This right here, three quarters. Okay, a little homework. You can figure up how many, how many thousand. Uh, seven hundred fifty thousand. You know, no uh, no homework in this. I'm gonna cut that off, and all of these numbers, uh, like I say, they give or take. Uh, plus or minus. Uh, let's put that right down here. Plus or minus. Keep that in mind. Up to at this point. Now there'll come a time where uh, you got to be within uh, a half a thousands. Uh, there, I'll cut this off, and that way I'll have this short piece. The reason that I do this is I can turn this around in the lathe and chuck up this little protrusion right here, and then I will. Uh, I'll turn this 45 degrees right here. That's going to be the seat angle, 45. The This will be the inside. This will be the hole right here going through like this right here. And right here, I'll machine in while it's turned around in the lathe. And this right here will be radius. This part right here will be radius, just to look good. At that point, I will drill through the through the hole, and I'm just going to use a I'm going to use a quarter inch drill bit, uh, one quarter drill bit. And and and, you, and as a rule, it's not going to drill to it's not going to drill going by the thousandths a true quarter inch hole. So I will machine the valve stem the shoulder part on it right there will be turned down to where it will be and I think what I'll do on the, on the first two I'm going to peen over the head so this will be a press fit in the first two and 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 I'll press that in there and uh, saw this off. That's no longer needed. This is later on in the operation. We just kind of getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. Uh, you know, we all stop right here and get onto that lathe. Let's get over there and see what we can turn. Uh, we'll get us a cup of coffee there, two spoons of honey, and then we'll get on with her.